could you now also update us on the BJP? I know that since yesterday you've been telling us that the BJP has been keen to distance themselves from this leader. At the same time, when we spoke to BJP leaders on the show, they said that they believed enough action had been taken against him. Uh, Swastika, on the ground, what is the BJP telling its state unit? Uh, I'm going to quickly go across to a local leader here. Sir, you're the coordinator of the area. Uh, we are seeing protests happening continuously. What would you appeal to the people here? Yes, Madam, you should arrest the people of the people of the people. If you have done the law against the people of the people, then you will not be able to do this. Nupur Sharma will be able to do the party from the BJP, but the law will not be able to do the law. If the law will not be able to do the law, then the law will not be able to do the law. The public demand is that he will get the law from the law. The law will not be able to do the law from the law. He will get the law from the law. He will get the law from the law. Sir, but you are the MIM leader here, and we are seeing that जाये सी बात है कि लोग गुस्से में हैं लेकिन ये जो law and order situation है वो affect हो रहा है इसके बारे में आप क्या करेंगे आसाद दिन ओवेसी जी ने खुद appeal किया था कि law and order situation में कोई problem नहीं होनी चाहिए law and order control में रहना ही बल्कि peace protest करें ना मैडम हम गाड़ियों को यहाँ पे road का flow बढ़ जाता है traffic का इसलिए हम बाजू करने की कोशिश करें सब मिलके क्योंकि हमारे पास हमारा मकसद पीस प्रोटेस्ट करना है किसी को रास्ता चलने वाले को तकलीफ पहुंचना नहीं है हमारा मकसद कब तक प्रोटेस्ट चलेगी अभी इंशाल्लाह अभी हम 10-15 मिनट में लोग को बाजू करने की कोशिश करेंगे हम सब मिलके सर मेरी मेरा आक्रस आखिरी सवाल अभी बहुत सारे कंट्रोवर्शियल स्लोगन्स भी उठाया जा रहा है जिसके खिलाफ एमआईएम चीफ असदुद्दीन ओबीसी ने कहा अपील किया था कि स्लोगन्स ना उठाएं इसके बावजूद मैं सुबह से हूँ यहाँ पे काफी सारे स्लोगन्स सुनाई दे रहे हैं इसके बारे में आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे मैं समझा नहीं मैडम आप क्या बोलना चाह हम कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि जो ना खानून के दायरे में रहके प्रोटेस्ट करे पीस प्रोटेस्ट करे क्या एमआईएम ये स्लोगन को कंडेम करती है हाँ बिल्कुल कंडेम करती सारी आवाम कंडेम करती है प्रोटेस्ट ये अल्पास को बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सर हमसे बात करने के लिए इन फैक्ट वी जस्ट हैड अ वर्ड विद एमआईएम कॉर्पोरेट and who has also, in fact, said that he is going to appeal to people not to raise the slogans. They have distanced himself from the slogans that are being raised here. And he's also said that this is a peaceful protest, and efforts are underway to move away the protesters to a side by lane where they can sit and protest. But for now, rapid action force is coming in, Toya, and we can see that so far protesters have confined themselves to this particular spot. Buses and all are not being stopped, but they continue. Uh, they have squatted themselves here and the efforts are underway to sort of move them away to ensure that there is no untoward incident. Swastika, you've been there for a few hours now. Are you actually seeing AIMIM leaders speak to supporters over there and tell them not to adopt these slogans? So, yeah, if you could repeat your question, please. Right. Swastika, I was saying you've been present on the ground there for a few hours now. Have you seen AIMIM leaders actually speak to those protesting and telling them not to use these slogans? Well, yes, they are. In fact, that was the claim that was put forth by the MIM corporator we just interviewed a short uh, while ago. In fact, efforts are underway to appeal to the protesters to keep this a peaceful protest. And largely, in fact, uh, the clashes that broke out yesterday, the situation when compared to that is perhaps slightly better, but that uh, is something not how I would like to describe the situation. By every uh, second, I would say our protesters have been swelling at this spot. And, and slowly they are expanding. So as a result, the traffic mobility is likely to come to a standstill if they are not moved away from the spot. The MIM corporator we spoke to said he has appealed to the protesters that they protest peacefully. They are also against the fact that Rajar Singh was given bail, but they want the protesters not to dilute the issue by raising controversial slogans. They say that the MIM party, remember, do not endorse this kind of slogans that are being raised by these protesters. And in fact, the same message was put forth by MIM chief Asaduddin Owaisi when we interviewed him yesterday. He said that the slogans that are being raised are not 
to be raised and these are completely distasteful. He himself had appealed to the protesters here. But you know, Toya passions are running high and here they are really agitated at the moment. They are upset with the fact that uh, Raja Singh has not been booked yet. In fact, he was allowed to go. So protesters say that they are going to continue unless there is a let up in, 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 or unless Raja Singh is punished. Swastika, another question for you. For our audiences, could you explain the scale of these protests? Obviously, we're showing our audiences visuals right now on their screens of one location in Hyderabad. But if you could explain to our audiences, are similar protests taking place across multiple parts of the city? Well, protests have been happening in different parts, but not at the scale that is happening here in Shalibanda. In fact, the law and order situation here in Shalibanda, extra forces have been pumped in because protests took a violent turn last night here in the same area, remember? And that's the reason why perhaps this is the only spot in the city that we have information right now which is witnessing protests. We have been here for the last three hours now. We have been tracking each and every development from the ground. And all I can say is that even the MIM leaders are slowly starting to come in. They are going to rope in community leaders because here each and every sector has a community leader. That is how the old city area of Hyderabad functions and efforts are underway that these MIM leaders will now appeal to each and every leader or every uh, person here to ensure that the protests happen peacefully and don't happen or take any violent turn. However, at the moment, Toya, yeah, on the ground, uh, protesters have squatted themselves on the ground and there are a few protesters scattered everywhere. Uh, rapid action force as we talk is being brought in. However, so far there has been no crackdown from the police side as well. Okay. Uh, Section 144 has not been imposed in the city. That is why gathering is being allowed but there was standing instruction yesterday from the police that no more than uh, uh, you know 10 to 20 people will be allowed to gather at a spot but here there is, seems to be a clear violation of that rule and that's why efforts are underway right now to calm the tempers down and move these protesters away uh, to perhaps a side road where they can stage protest because this is Charminar area remember it's an arterial area if the protesters continue to swell as they have been chances are likely that the traffic will get affected it is already getting affected and that kind of situation is something that the Hyderabad police is not looking at at the moment. Okay, Swastika Das joining us right now, as you can see from Shalabanda in Hyderabad, the site right now of protests against the comments of T.S. Raja. Remember, he is a leading uh, member of the BJP, a popular leader in the area who was re-elected, the only BJP leader to get re-elected in elections in 2018 known for his controversial remarks. Uh, he made a remark over the weekend that it seems has finally pushed the BJP to suspend him, a derogatory comment to Prophet Muhammad that is now seeing thousands of protesters, as you see, coming out against him. These protesters are demanding that he be arrested. We saw the police arrest him yesterday, but the court did not give the police his remand. Right now, we're going to move into political...